My name is Michael. Welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. Today we're going to enjoy an animal meet and greet. Hey, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. We are here with Alina, one of our animal handlers. And Alina, you have got a legless animal here. Who is this? This is Teddy, our beautiful ball python. Ball python. Does Teddy like to go out and, you know, throw the ball around or something? Nope. These guys are ball, known as ball pythons because when they are frightened, they will roll themselves up to a ball and protect their heads at the center of their bodies. Awesome. Now, this is a pretty thick snake. Uh, is it like crushing your hand right now to hold on or nope. what's going on here? She is lazily wrapped around my hand right now. She might be a constrictor, but she's not going to waste her time trying to constrict me because I am not food to her. Why are you not food to her if you're meat? Well, as you can see, I am very big and snakes can only eat things that are about three times the width of their head or about the thickness of her body. In order to eat me, she'd have to be able to get her mouth around my head. And as you can see, my head is much bigger than hers. So I see that she's sticking out her tongue. Why, why, is, why is Teddy sticking out her tongue? She's not rude. She's trying to make sure you took a bath this morning. I'm okay. assuming you didn't because I can smell you <laughs> right here. In reality, Teddy doesn't have ears, so she no. can't tell what's going on around her. So what she does is she relies on a special organ known as the Jacobson's organ. So when snakes flick out their tongue, they actually pick up individual set particles on either side of their forked tongue. When it goes to the Jacobson's organ, it tells them which side that scent came from, and it can tell them it helps them in hunting and avoiding predators. So I'm looking at Teddy's skin right now, and gosh, so beautiful. But why, why the pattern? Why, is she, why does she have to look like that? Well, she comes from Sub-Sahara Africa. She lives in primarily on the ground and in burrows, so she blends in with the soil that she tends on. Gotcha. And, it, and how big is she gonna grow? She gonna be like 20 feet, 25 feet? Well, what you're probably thinking about is the Burmese python, the oh, invasive okay. species who come from India. She is a smaller species of python, so right now she's about full grown and about three and a half, three and a half, four feet long. Now, when we touch her, we go from front to back. Front to back. Yes. Why do we go front to back? Well, what happens is not all snakes have smooth, sc uh, smooth scales. Some of them have something called keeled scales in which the scales are slightly raised, sometimes for gripping, sometimes for protection. If you went the opposite way, you can lift up those scales and accidentally hurt them. I, okay, that makes so sense. For that the sake of her comfort, always go from the front to the tail. So I've got a question that I know some of our viewers are going to ask or thinking about and they can't ask right now, mm -hmm. and that is, how does Teddy go to the bathroom? Well, just like you and me, she does have a mouth, she has a stomach, she has something, intestines that digest it, and then she has the back end where everything comes out. Oh, okay, so it's on the bottom of them, it's not something we can see. And actually, you, you didn't see it, but she just yawned really loudly, which was pretty awesome. Thank so. you. Well, yes. awesome. Thank you for bringing Teddy today. We greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed meeting Teddy and learning about Teddy and snakes. Everybody have a great day today and we'll see you next time. We want to thank the Bachelor Foundation for sponsoring this video today and make sure you subscribe below.